What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Luis Alberto Lopez versus Michael Conlon. And this was a 12-rounder for the IBF Featherweight World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, May 27th from the SSE Arena in Belfast, Northern Ireland. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN Plus or on the ESPN app. And in this fight, Luis Alberto Lopez brutally knocked out Michael Conlon in the fifth round um, to successfully defend his title for, for the first time and to get a very, very solid win. So Luis Alberto Lopez now is coming off of two excellent wins, defeating Josh Warrington by decision and now defeating Michael Conlon by brutal knockout. And then before that, he also had some solid wins over Gabriel Flores Jr., Andy Vences, and even Isaac Lowe as well. He had some very solid wins there, and now he's a world champ defending his title. So um, leading up to the stoppage in this one, I had a, a draw at 38-38, but obviously Lopez was able to get the job done getting the stoppage. Uh, but just to break this fight down round by round, the first two rounds I gave to Michael Conlon, but this fight was actually very, very entertaining while it lasted. The first round, Conlon was going with some nice left hands to the body and to the head, so I gave him that round. And round number two, though, both of them connected with some good work and or with some good shots and landed some good power. But I thought that Conlon's shots were more effective overall. Um, but then in the third round, Conlon was having some good success, landing some good shots on Lopez. But then he got caught with a very nice uppercut that sort of buckled him back a bit. And he looked very stunned and a little bit wobbled. Um, and so then Lopez sort of jumped on him a bit and landed some big power shots. So that's why I gave him that round for sort of stunning Conlon. Then in the fourth round... Lopez started to land with more power, especially to the body. He started to land more there. Um, then in the fifth, where the fight ended, they were both sort of exchanging a bit like they were doing in the rounds before. And then uh, Lopez fired off a big, I believe it was a right hook, sort of like on the chin, like right on the button, I believe it was, because I think Conlon was ducking down a little bit and had his chin sort of open. Um, and then I believe it was that right hook from Lopez that landed flush and Conlon got sat flat in his back and the corner immediately threw in the towel after Conlon got brutally dropped. Uh, so in the end, it was a very, very nice knockout win for Lopez. And this goes into the question, what is next for him? So successfully defended his title here, still the IBF world champ. Uh, there's also another very, very big featherweight world title fight on tonight that hasn't happened yet as I am posting this video. It hasn't happened yet. Um, and that is between, obviously, Lara and Wood in their rematch. Um, so possibly, I think that Lopez could get the winner of that fight, whether it's Lara, whether it's Wood. I think that Lopez would probably get the winner. But if not, uh, for a fight between either of those two, I could definitely see... Um, I could definitely see Lopez maybe taking out someone ranked highly in the IBF. Who knows, maybe they could do a rematch with Josh Warrington. That could be an interesting fight. Um, but, I mean, really, realistically, it'll probably be a fight either between Lara or Wood, depending on who wins that rematch. And it could possibly be someone ranked highly in the IBF that he could just defend his title against um, and continue moving forth as a champ. But as for Michael Conlon losing here for the second time in his career, um, before, the, before um, having that sort of break, after his loss to, um, having his loss to Lee Wood, I mean, that was a very, very tough fight with Lee Wood. He had a war with Lee Wood. He was winning the fight and got brutally knocked out. In this fight, he could have arguably been up, and then he got brutally knocked out. So the two losses that Conlon has had uh, were very, very brutal finishes, and they were actually very, very brutal fights in the end. Both of them were just swinging, just like in this fight and in his fight with Lee Wood. But for Conlon, I think he's going to, fight in his home country uh, in Ireland on a pretty big card, probably will hem headline the card. I think it'll be similar to when he fought Miguel Mariaga, where he was a heavy favorite but was still the main event in front of his home crowd and got an easy win. So I think we could see something like that next for Conlon, maybe a co-main event spot, main event uh, against someone that he'll, he'll for sure beat uh, because for him he's got to continue building himself up because he does now have two losses and is 0-2 in world title fights. Uh, so overall, Michael Conlon brutally gets knocked out in the fifth round, and Luis Alberto Lopez remains the IBF world champion, um, getting his 28th victory. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.